Welcome home everyone, you're here on the Carl and Ginger Family Channel and today we are going to try and attempt to sink our giant Lego box fort into the bottom of the swimming pool because every day is a new day, let's make it an awesome one. Will an individual block sink? Don't break it though, careful. And three, three two, two, one, one go! We built this giant Lego box for it, which is so cool. And it's still standing! Yeah! yeah! Which is so cool. We actually built this a couple days ago and it's just been sitting there. We've had a couple windstorms and it is pretty solid, which means it's really, really heavy. Oh yeah. That's definitely gonna be a challenge getting it into the pool, but I, I think it will be a benefit. Once we get it into the pool, I think it will end up sinking because it is so heavy. And every one of the blocks has holes in it so the water can go through it, which is awesome. But Kyle had a good question. What was your question, Kyle? How are we going to lift it? How are we gonna lift it? That is a brilliant question. I think lifting it is possible, but lifting it and moving it is gonna be tricky. But we do have some tools at our disposal, so I think we can get it. The other question we had is, will an individual block sink or will it float? So we're gonna do a couple experiments first before we just try to stick this whole thing into the swimming pool. We're gonna take a couple of the blocks, maybe do a mini stack, put it in the pool, see if it will sink or if it will float. What's your guys' vote? Um, I think they're gonna sink because there's the, the holes. Okay. I, I definitely think they're gonna sink. I don't know, I think they actually might flow. I think mm -hmm. there's a chance, because we've done something like this in the past. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna flow. You guys, tell us up in the poll right now, do you think that the blocks are gonna sink or are they gonna float? I wanna know. Okay, so Luke's actually gonna go into the pool. We're gonna yeah. give him a couple blocks and we're gonna see if they sink or float. Now, Luke, I think it's really important if you take a single block mm -hmm. you're gonna have to sink it to the bottom of the pool and let go yeah, and definitely. then see what happens because we want a good valid test right yeah. yeah Kyle while Luke's getting ready to get in the pool will you get a stack of five big blocks and stack them up so that we can have a test stack yeah Luke already grabbed the single block so we're gonna do that test first then we're gonna stack up a few of them and see if they sink or if they float better or worse so that we know when there's more group together if we're gonna need more weight to go on top of the entire structure or if they'll hold each other down okay you guys so I have one of each block I have a small block here and I have a big block and I think I'm just gonna go for the big block first and see if it will sink or if it will float then I'll do the same with the small block and then we can do a whole bunch of blocks. Luke, is the water warm? Yeah, it is actually. I'm gonna pop it in right here. Oh yeah, and look, there's even steam coming off of the pool. That is so warm. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> did you? Yeah, you did. You guys are all serious over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think me and Luke are ready to test the blocks whether whether or not these sink or float okay this is test number one we have a single red large block all right let's do this in three two one man i wonder if this is gonna work i don't think it's gonna work since the plastic's lighter than the water wait is it working I think it's working. Okay, so the single large block sunk underwater, but it kind of slowly floated up. So I think a little bit more weight will allow it to stay underwater. I totally agree with you, Luke. I think we should try out the stack of five. What about this? Already created. Woo! Yeah! We are going to try this for test number two and see if just a little bit of weight will hold it down. Let's do it, Luke. Okay, test number two, a stack of five big blocks. All right, ready? In three, two, one. Okay, now I think this is definitely not gonna work. It seems to float pretty well. I think I'm gonna go and try to lay it on its side this time. Let's go in three, two, one. Yeah, I definitely don't think that this is gonna work because I feel like since all of the plastic combined and all the air bubbles inside the plastic and the fact that the plastic is lighter than all of the water, yeah. I don't think that this is gonna work. So we're gonna have to add some weight on top of the entire 
box for it. Gage, I think you're totally right. We need to get some sort of weighted object to put on top of the box for it that will kind of stay in place. Do you guys have any idea? The first thing I thought was like mini sandbags, but we don't have yeah. anything like that. We have like medicine balls, but like those. I think they'll roll off though. Yeah. What if we use like real bricks? We have leftover uh, yeah. landscaping bricks. Do you want to try that? Let's do it. Let's grab a brick and see if a brick will hold down even just five of the plastic bricks, which I think it will. But let's just go ahead and test it out so we know what we're doing and see if it will balance on top. This is test number three, a stack of six and a real brick. Let's do this in three, three two, two, one. No, I'm really curious to see if this one works because the brick is definitely heavier, heavier than all of the plastic Lego blocks. But I don't know actually about this one. We're gonna have to Okay, see. you guys, Gage, Gage, that totally worked. That totally it did, did yes. work. It's totally standing there, so secure. It looks awesome. I think that should be our plan, don't yeah. you? Yeah, let's, right, let's do it. Oh man, that swimming pool is warm, but it's not that warm out here. So I have to put on a nice warm hat, but I think we're ready to actually try and move the giant Lego box for into the swimming pool. I'm so excited, are you excited? Yeah! Oh, look at this, Carl! Carl! Did you guys come out here and do experiments without me already? Yes, we already know how the floating is gonna work. We definitely have to weigh it down. Did they all just float right to the top? It was slow, it was so funny because when you float one block, it floats up really slowly, but if uh -huh. you float multiple blocks, it floats up faster. Really? I so extra blocks doesn't more add more, air. it doesn't add more weight, it captures more air and yes. makes it more buoyant or yes. something. So Kyle so, grabbed uh, all these bricks yes. and we did a test of six bricks and they just stack right on top and balance on the Lego, okay. the giant Legos. So we're ready to move this into the pool and get it sunk and weight, that weighted down. Are I say that ready? we do it because look at this. It's like all we have to do oh. is put it on these carts, wheel it right up to the edge, right? Right. And then as we wheel it off the edge, we can pull the carts off to the side yes. and just set it in there. And if it like tips over, it all floats, right? So we can just try to hold it together. Exactly. And we'll rotate it and sink it to the bottom and then we'll put the bricks on top. I think it's gonna work as I long as it do. doesn't break apart, right? <laughs> right. We're just gonna so have we have the furniture rollies that we're gonna put it on and roll okay. it to the edge of the pool. All right, let's do it. Ginger's swimming down there. She's getting ready to set up the camera, the underwater camera, because we're about to put this on the carts and dunk it in the deep end. You ready to help me out, Gage? Yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna work though. I think it's too buoyant and it's just gonna overwhelm the weight of the bricks. Well, I don't know. We're gonna put it in the water, try and get the air out of it and find out. I'll help you. All guys. right, sounds good. Let's see, we gotta pick it up from the bottom and get the cart underneath it here. Uh-oh, it's already breaking apart. We have to, oh. have to lift. You gotta be really careful. Oh no, this our doorway's is already coming apart here. This part right here. Okay, we got that. We might have to rebuild some of this down in the deep oh, end, but. Okay, okay. Here, we'll get this back side. You slide this under when I lift, you ready? Yeah. I gotta get my fingers under there. So slippery. I know, it's trying to roll away from me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little puzzle. <laughs> yeah. I can't even get a grip. There we go. Maybe if I just push the whole thing, it'll slide. There we go. Oh, guide us. Steer it. No, it's in Don't break it though. Careful. In oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Communicate, communicate. Oh, okay, I got this right here. Alright, I got this. Oh, it's all coming apart. Cut it <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to rebuild this under the water. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way and get it in the pool. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're getting to the point where it's about to go in the water. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, and three, three two, two, one, go! solution we're gonna have to sink this to the bottom and try to build it underwater yeah. oh my god wow this wow. is really cool looking though i kind of yeah. want to jump in and swim around i mean yeah. it's kind of like a giant lego raft now i know it kind of is wow. let's go all right we gotta push it all the way to the bottom of the pool you guys ready 
Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh man, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Because of all the pieces, they're just like floating everywhere. Get bricks. Oh my gosh. We have to get bricks. Dad, is it working down there? It keeps floating up. I think the trick is we're gonna have to go down with like three bricks at a time and just pin it. Okay, good. Here, everybody take a break except for Kyle. Okay, got it. Kyle, you're just gonna help us push it down, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's try Here to pull it over to this back wall so we can use the wall to help push us down. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, ready? Go. Oh gosh. This is crazy. Oh Woo! my gosh. I think we got it. You got I it? The brick. If you can get me can two get... more bricks, my feet are on it holding it down. Go. Okay, go Luke. Get me two more bricks and we'll get it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Got it. It's working. I got one. Let's swim down and put it on, Kyle. Dad, is it working down there? It's totally working. I think we got four bricks on it now. And we got it pinned down. Now we just have to put the rest of the bricks on, get the scattered pieces, and rebuild this thing. Man, that thing looks crazy it's, down there. It's awesome. Let's go check it out. Now all these guys are going to start rebuilding like one of the front entryways or one of the walls and it's starting to look better already. This is crazy. I can't believe we're doing this. Here's the thing you guys, trying to swim down with giant chunks of the wall, they're just so buoyant. You have to swim down with like bricks and help and all this stuff, it's super difficult. So I think we just need to start grabbing small chunks at a time or one or two bricks and just swimming down as fast as we can and just rebuilding it one piece at a time. I think that's a good idea because it seems to work really well like three or four. Yeah, but if you try to do a whole wall, you just can't even get it down. It just yeah, floats you right impossible. up. Yeah, it's too buoyant, it doesn't work. How's it going down there? I mean, it's going pretty good. Right now, we're just trying to build that wall in that corner around there, and I think it'll be awesome. Ooh, it's going good so far. All four corners, you guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, you guys. That's a lot more difficult than you would think. Going under the water, the Legos really try to float up on you. And even when you put the bricks down, the buoyancy of the water and the movement and everything going on down there, it's really complicated and really challenging to try and build a box fort underwater with these Legos. But we did learn a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I think one of the main things is that we should build the windows and the doors more securely and with more layers. Instead of having a single layer over the top of the door or the window, it needs to be multiple layers. So I think we learned a lot, and I think next time we're definitely gonna have a different approach. Yeah, I think the way that we loaded it into the pool was the big problem and the culprit, and we weren't ready for how much it was gonna just flow all apart like so easily. So I think we're gonna make some adjustments. Let us know what you think we could have done better down in the comments below. But for now, let's go down and kind of explore how much we got done. I think we made the box for under the water about as good as we could today. We're gonna have to revisit this using your ideas in a future video, but now I think it would be really fun if we went down and took all the bricks off of the top and watched the whole thing float up like a giant Lego iceberg. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's do it in three, two, one, go. There we go. Oh man. I wonder how fast it's gonna float up. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Taking off all the bricks now. Oh man, here it goes. Oh yeah, you can totally see it. Whoa! 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 The whole side's flying up. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, the whole wall broke off. That is crazy! It was totally like a Lego iceberg. That is crazy! Wow! That looks so cool that under the does. water. 
I got this whole thing just floating up to the top like a giant iceberg. That was so cool. Look at that thing. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> the whole thing is totally broken apart now. It looks totally awesome. I think that's it. We're just gonna have to clean up all of these Legos, <laughs> get them out of the pool, and then dive down and get these bricks. What do you think? Was that fun or what? That was yeah. so awesome. It was way cool. You guys, that's it. We made a giant Lego underwater box for as best we could. We're looking forward to your ideas, but it gives me an idea with how much this is floating. I think we should make a giant Lego boat. Don't you That'd guys think cool. we should do that? What? Yeah. We should use saran wrap and try to make a giant boat out of this stuff. And click on the screen anywhere. If you like this video, you're gonna love these other ones that we picked out for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!